peace to the gods and the goddesses of the nation, of the land, and of all creation. I just had to get this this out to you guys, man. Just to, you know, get some insight. You know, I'm on my way to handle some business, man. Do some work. But I had some thoughts in my mind about this whole COVID-19 um, pandemic that's around and what's going on. Could. I just want you guys to answer this question. Get into my comment section. You know, just answer this question for me, family. Is it possible that the total number of people that's scheduled to be, how can I say, infected from this virus? From what Trump is saying, he's basically saying that Millions of people in America will get infected with this virus and that we may have up to 300,000 deaths in total from this pandemic. Now, I don't want to be the person, you know, to, you know, rain on the government's parade, <laughs> which I do all the time. But what I want to say is, is it possible for them, the government, the world leaders, is it possible that they're lying about the number in order to implement martial law? What's being thrown around right now, family? Stay home. Stay home. You got your favorite actor, your favorite athlete. Stay home. Stay home. Stay home. Stay home. Don't come outside. You got the government. Stay home. Don't come outside. Are they telling us to stay inside because they don't want to spread the disease? Or are they telling us to stay inside because they got something planned for us? And in order for it to be implemented, we can't be around to see it. I want you guys to get into my comment section and basically let me know your thoughts on like basically what I'm saying. Is it possible for them to be basically telling us all about this shit so we could get scared, stay in the house while the whole time that we're inside of the house, they're out here in the world putting something in place so when we think that the whole shit is over. That's when it really hits the fan family. I've already showed you video of military people throughout the country setting up shop. They're holding off all the boats on the harbors. Now, is it possible that right now they could be fluctuating the numbers in order to you know, guarantee that some people will truly be scared and not want to come outside. You get what I'm saying to you? Is it possible that right now that a person is going into the hospital with the common cold, but because they fear so much of this pandemic and they have to know whether or not they have it, the doctors are telling them that they have it when they, in all actuality, they don't have it, family. Is that the case? Is that what we're witnessing right now at this point in time? Let me know. Get into the comment section. If you're new to my channel, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. We're not just going to be talking about COVID-19. I got a lot of good lectures coming up for you guys that I want to release for you. So let me know what you guys think. And, you know, I, I just want people to be smart. We already know that the virus was never even meant for the United States. We already know that they gave China about a hundred million dollars to fund their population control because the elderly were outnumbering the younger people. So we know this already. We know that the COVID virus 
was put into place to control the population inside of China, but unfortunately, the European Union didn't do what they were supposed to do when they made the plan to implement this virus into the people of China. That is, for all purposes, only they only made to kill the elderly people so the younger population can grow so they can stop the one child rule because the one child rule only favors male children so it came to the point where they was going to have 30 million young Chinese men unwilling bachelors if you look at my previous videos regarding the coronavirus you will see that I already brought you guys this information so we know that the COVID virus was not intended for the U.S., but because the European Union didn't close their doors off to China, the COVID virus leaked out. And once they leaked out into the European Union, what happened? The people who do business from Europe and come to America, people who want to do this and do that in that country or in this country, they started traveling, not knowing that they had the virus. And now it spilled out to America and all over the globe, but in all actuality, it was only meant for who? China. So could it be now that the government... You know, even though the United States didn't want nothing to do with that virus, could they be using it as their advantage to further their own personal agenda? Because if you know the implement the implementation of martial law in America is through violence, not disease. They don't want to get us through um, disease. They want to get us through violence so they can so they can make it a police state. But unfortunately. A virus did get leaked out into America. So now could they be using that as their advantage to further implement their own agenda? And then the other governments in the other countries, are they using that to further their own agenda? Let me know, family. Get into the comments. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. And, you know, I love you guys and I want you guys to be smart. And I want you to just think about what I'm saying to you. And it's just a thought that I just had in my mind that I had to bring to you guys. But let me know what you think, man. If you knew, like I said, like and subscribe, hit that notification button. Go back into my previous videos to learn more about the coronavirus and the population growth. Go into my videos to learn anything about knowledge. If you're searching for the answer to the truth, trust and believe. You may find it here. Until next time, man, peace and blessings to everybody, to the gods and the goddesses of the nation, of the land, and of all creation. And everybody, I hope that you're doing well.